going on guys? Welcome to another episode of The Shedstead. So this is the last day of our meat chickens. Alright, it's week five. I haven't quite mastered how to move the tractor yet. So they all got out. But all I gotta do is give them some food and they'll get back in there but I'm gonna go ahead and move the tractor and but uh so they're getting some like free range and free range in time right now but uh I'll get them back in there last day of week six it's gonna go on over to week seven um or it might be the last day of week seven going to week eight because today is the second so we got nine more days so until they go to the processor. Anyways, I had my first, uh, I guess, mistake or one of many. But I bent my little garden cart. Besides that, I love it. But I should have known that if you have a 15 gallon jug of water, that you don't put it in the back because it's going to flip right on the back. But now I know. So it still works. I can close it, but. I guess that's uh, my idiot move for the day. They're so fat they can't swim, or they can't fly. Alright guys, it's Sunday. I'm actually moving the birds twice a day now. Um, Wednesday I will um, stop the feed and I will add water or I'm sorry, apple cider vinegar to the water so that way they can stay hydrated. And then I'm gonna load them up Wednesday night after work. And then we're gonna head to the processor in Hillsboro Thursday morning, bright and early. Need to be there by seven. But the birds are doing fine. I only lost one out on pasture so far with two days to go. So we'll see how that works out. Hopefully that stays like that. And uh, that concludes it for Sunday night. I'm just letting the birds have some some uh, outside time out on the grass while we change everything and move the tractor. Even at seven and a half weeks, they're still moving around pretty good and eating grass. I actually saw one catch a cricket a second ago. And they're doing pretty good. I just leave the door open for them when I'm out here. They just kind of wander around. Still move the tractor every day. Actually, twice a day now. So that way they can get water, which they're drinking there. And they got their feed. So it's the day before graduation for our meat chickens. And so we got to cut the feed off for them 24 hours before. So. We're going to give them water, but we're going to put some apple cider vinegar. It's going to help with uh, keeping them hydrated um, until tomorrow. And that's what I'm going to do now. It's uh, one tablespoon per gallon. This is uh, five gallons, so it should be five tablespoons. But I'm just going to put a little bit in there and then uh, give it to the birds. So this is the last day of our meat chickens. So uh, tonight I'm going to load them into the crates that you see behind me over here. And then I'm going to load them up in the truck. And then we got an hour drive, a little over an hour drive tomorrow morning to the processor. I need to be there at 7 in the morning. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get started. Alright guys, so I got them loaded up in the trailer. So I got the six crates. And I have nine birds per crate. I have one with ten. It's rated for ten per bird. So, um, they look 
fairly comfortable from the last night. So off with the process, here we go. Good morning. So, birds are loaded. You might hear El Chapo in the background crowing. Um, it's about six. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, start heading out. There was a 10% chance of rain yesterday. And 10% uh, turned to 100%. But we had decided to put the chickens in the garage. So everything should be okay. But now, off to the processor we go.